Okay, we have our four University of Illinois student athletes. Uh, if you have a question, please raise your hand and, and wait for the microphone. Questions? Over on the far right here. Tom Kinsler, Denver Post. Brandon, uh, Colorado has uh, said that uh, Andre Robertson's going to check you to begin the game. Uh, what do you see from him on film, and what's the key to, you know, playing against him? Um, Robertson's a real athletic kid. Um, he leads them in rebounding, and he's like a double-digit guy every night. So, and I know he's real athletic, so it's going to be a it's going to be a challenge. But, you know, uh, we put ourselves in position to be successful, and I know my teammates are going to do a good job uh, getting me in position to score. Right of the aisle down third row here. How concerned have you guys been with their length, um, big team? Um, I don't think we're real concerned. You know, we're a pretty athletic team. We've got guys that, uh, you know, if our guys are smaller, they make up with it, make, make up with it with their athleticism. So, you know, they're a team that it has a lot of balanced scoring and uh, a lot of size. But, you know, as, as long as we play our game, I think we'd be in good shape. Particularly for Sam and Tyler, answer the same question. Sam, you go ahead and answer that first. Say that again. Just how concerned are you with their their size? We've got a couple of big guys. Uh, you know, uh, coming from the league that we've played in all year, we're kind of used to uh, being one of the smaller teams inside. So uh, I think our body of work this entire season has prepared us for a moment like this. Tyler, go ahead. Yeah, we are a lot of size too. Uh, you know, we. Like Sam said, we've been going up against uh, against bigger guys uh, the whole year. Okay, we've got a question over here on the far right. Again, if you'd give us your name and affiliation when you ask a question, please. Herb Gould, Chicago Sun-Times. Tyler, when you have a, a big scoring night, is it because you're feeling it? Is it because of situations that leave you open? What are sort of the ingredients that make for a, a game when you when you have a good offensive game I just try to do whatever it takes to uh, to help the team win um, you know when I get opportunities to score or to shoot uh, I to the best of my best of my ability I take them um, you know but a lot of my uh, a lot of my job is to do little things to rebounding uh, boxing out and just uh, playing solid defense All right. second row on the right Stu Durando St. Louis post dispatch uh, Tyler when you went through that long stretch there where you were, you know, 0 for whatever it was on the threes, can you just talk about what the response and the support was like from coaches and players and how important that was in getting you back on track? Um, unbelievable. Uh, they, you know, they knew I was in the gym. You know, I was working so hard trying <laughs> trying to get one to fall. Um, but, uh, and, you know, coaches did a good job. Coach Gross kept your own plays up for me to get open shots. Teammates kept getting me open. Um, and they, they all had confidence in me, so uh, I was able to knock down the next one. Got on the left of the aisle, halfway back. Uh, Marcus Jackson, Champaign News Gazette. Uh, for Brandon and DJ, you guys have said repeatedly you guys you kind of want to leave a mark, or I guess all you guys want to leave a mark on this program. How important is this this week for you guys to in, in taking that step and, and to do something for the program? Um, you know, it's a big step for us. Um, obviously, we've been um, been through a lot in our careers. Um, we're looking for the big matchup um, tomorrow. You know, we just want to have fun and go out there with a bang. You know, it's our last. You know, this could possibly be our last game tomorrow, but at the same time, we want to come out and fight. You know, and have fun at the same time. Yeah, I think um, opening up the season, opening up the season with uh, you know the Maui with that championship. You know, gave us a lot of confidence for years. So I think we've done a lot of good things this year to look back on as seniors, um, regardless of the outcome tomorrow. But, you know, like DJ said, we're going to go out and compete. You know, we're, we're not ready for it to be over yet. So, you know, we got a good team uh, ahead of us in Colorado. So we're looking forward to the challenge. But, you know, we're going to compete and we're going to leave it all on the floor. Questions for the student athletes? Here we go. Right of the aisle. Uh, Max Tain, Daily Line. I Sam, this is kind of uncharted waters for you. This is the first time in the tournament. What's the experience been like? Oh, man, it's been unbelievable. Uh, getting that police escort to the gym, that's pretty awesome. <laughs> uh, but, no, uh, you know, uh, it's everything I expected it to be. Um, 
you know, the team, uh, a lot of the younger guys haven't experienced this as well. So we're all pretty excited about it and uh, we're looking to do some good things tomorrow. Right of the aisle. Ryan Thorburn with the Boulder camera. Can you guys just talk about uh, the new coaching staff and how you guys embrace them and how early that process began and what it's been like with them? Um, you know, it's been great. You know, I think um, we have a mature team. Everyone been in since day one. You know, we ha uh, we trust what the coach have to say. You know, coming off a strong season that they, that they had um, over in Ohio. Um, you know, it's exciting. You know, they got here from day one. Everybody on the team bid in. Um, I think we show a lot of maturity. Oh, um, yeah, basically piggyback what DJ was saying, you know, the coaches came in with the mindset that they, they wanted to win and uh, they didn't want this to be a rebuilding year. We had the same mindset. You know, a lot of people expected us to just come in and just kind of play, but we competed. We wanted to win and we did that, you know, starting out early with our, uh, we had a great non-conference schedule and uh, we finished non-conference good. So, you know, with them coming in, and uh, they put a lot of trust in us and uh, I think we just, we were on the same page and that just helped us, you know, build a relationship with the coaches. Tyler. Um, Gross and the staff done a great job uh, from day one, just building relationships with us on and off the court and uh, just in gaining our trust. Uh, you know, and each day goes by, um, you know, it's he's we 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 know the success he's had last year uh, at this tournament. And, uh, you know, it's just it's something that uh, that we can, uh, you know, look forward and, uh, and build on. And Sam. When they recruited me to come in, uh, you know, they were saying, uh, you know, Myers just left uh, uh, first round. So a lot of people was uh, doubting him, saying that, uh, you know, wouldn't be a team uh, able to make the tournament. And this team hasn't been to the tournament uh, in a few years. Um, and so we all accepted the challenge. Uh, we knew it would be tough, but uh, uh, we knew we had to fill the void that Myers left as a, as a unit. And uh, we were able to come out and do some good things. Okay, standing in the back left. McCauley from WILL Radio. Uh, have you had a chance to see Austin at all? Have you? Is there anything apart from just getting ready for Colorado that you've done that you can share that you've enjoyed? Brandon, we'll start with you on that. Just go down the line. No, we pretty much. I mean, we went to, we went to the Vince Young uh, restaurant last night. Ate there, so that was it was really good steaks there. And uh, you know, Vince Young was in the house, so that was pretty cool. But aside from that. We've just been, you know, driving around, getting to practice, getting to the hotel, getting accommodated, and you know, preparing for the next for for the game tomorrow. You know, uh, I don't think anything else is really as important as the preparation for the game. So that's about it. Anybody want to add to that? Okay. All right. We'll go uh, on the right here. Kyle. Kyle Milnamo, uh, Daily Illini. Uh, for Brandon, DJ, and Tyler, how does this experience uh, this year compare to two years ago in Tulsa? Tyler, we'll start with you and just move down the line. Um, it means uh, you know, something special for me, something I'll remember for the rest of my life. Um, I guess sophomore year, uh, a couple of years ago, I wasn't playing as much, so it, it's kind of uh, it's kind of special for me to be a uh, to be a major part of it. You know, it was um, you know it was great to um, just see our name get called to be here. Um, you know, obviously it's a it's one of the best tournaments in the country, and um, you know it's just a blessing, like I said, and. Um, you know, it's really that's really all. It's just a blessing. You know, a lot of kids wish they could be in the position that we are, and uh, uh, there's nothing more to say than you know it really is a blessing. And just be, this is the second time we'd be able to do this, and uh, we want we want to take uh, take advantage of this and just you know get everything we can out of it. You know, like Tyler said, we're gonna look back on this when uh, when we're a little bit older and say we got to do this. So we're looking to go forward in this tournament. Okay, the right of the aisle. Again, Max Tango. <laughs> Uh, Brandon, you talked about going up against Robertson with him guarding you. DJ probably Dinwiddie would probably check you. Have you ever seen defenders as long as those guys are with big wingspans of this season? Any guys compare to them? DJ, why don't you go first? Um, well, we obviously are four year. We fought four year college players, and um, you know we've been through a lot. You know, especially playing the Big Ten. You know, so many great players that you know been through our lead. You know, we play like 34 games this year, and we we experienced a lot of things. So. You know, well, obviously they're pretty good, pretty good guys. You know, overall, 
you know, long length, six six, six seven guys that can um that's pretty good on defense. But um, you know, we played so many games this year, like I said, that you know, we should be ready to play them. Um, you know, I played against I played against Vic Oladipo the last few years, so I'm sure. Uh, obviously, he's Defensive Player of the Year. You know, he's he's a tough guy to go against. You know, I've seen all types of defense, so um, going against these guys, you know, I'm gonna look I'm gonna look at it as if I look at every other game. You know, I'm not gonna take them for granted. I'm not gonna be like, oh, these guys can't guard. Clearly, they're a good team that defends well. That they, they wouldn't be in a tournament. So, you know, I just gotta make sure I'm uh, I'm cautious. You know, I take care of the ball. You know, scoring is not going to be an easy task, but at the same time, you know, I'm a gifted scorer. I know that the team knows that, and I'm just going to look forward to, you know, my God-given abilities and uh, my teammates and coaches putting me in position to score because that's what I do my best. On the far right. Herb Gould, Chicago Sun-Times. For any or all of you guys, knowing that Coach Gross has won in this tournament as a 13 and a 14 seed, what are your impressions of that? What does that mean to you guys? Sam, why don't you start? Uh, it just so it just uh, shows us that uh, if we listen to him, uh, you know, we execute uh, the game plan that he provides for us. That uh, it gives us a good opportunity to win. Uh, he's won with, with lesser talent, and uh, you know, uh, we have we have the talent to uh, to win games in this tournament. It means he knows what he's doing. Uh, you know, when he says something, we, he's had success at this level. So, uh, so we trust that when he says something, uh, it's going to work. Yeah, like Tyler said, he knows what he's doing. And obviously, the staff, you know, they do a great job of um, with the scouting report, and um, you know, just them them as well getting to prepare for the game. So, you know, even though Coach Gross do the, um, you know, get a lot of credit for what he does, the staff do a, you know, a, a huge part, you know, for our game plan. Yeah, you know, he's been here before. He's he's been where we want to go. You know, as as seniors, you know, we've we me, Tyler and DJ, you know, we we, we made one past the first round uh, our sophomore year, but you know, Sam, we haven't none of us have been past that and they, they they've done it a few times. So, just having that coaching staff, you know, they've they've had uh, the greatest amount of trust in us throughout the year and uh we're going to continue to move forward with them. We're looking forward to the challenge tomorrow and I think, you know, they they keep us prepared and we're we're going to continue to pair. Prepare. Okay, thank you, gentlemen. We're going to let you go.